What's up Master Fish Keepers? Welcome back to the video. So today's video is not going to be a shop tour or monster fish hunting video. It is just basically going to be an update of all my fishes in my crib and you'll see how all the fishes are. There are some sad stories and some good stories too. So without further ado, let's hop in and check out all the awesome fishes. Let's go! Alright guys, so the first tank here is the monster fish tank. As you can see, one of the orino is here. Yep, so this is the bad news. Unfortunately, two of the rescued Orino didn't make it. Due to a fungal infection, and I was away for quite some time, so I was not back in time to give it some medication, but the one that was bought from CTH Aquatics made it. And here's the spider calberry, he's good. Okay, the pyra is here. This is the smaller one, the one that is not blind on one side. Because the blind one on one side, it has become a big bully. It tried to eat the smaller Pyara as well as my Calberry. So I got no choice but to temporarily separate them apart. While I disinfect the quarantine tank as it's now empty. So in the future I'll move it back into the quarantine tank while waiting for the big tank to be done. And the Goonch is here. He's doing great. The Goonch is great. And this is the surprise mystery peacock bass that I picked up from uh, Yihau Aquatics the other day. It's an Azul peacock bass. Yep, he's cool with all the stripes and all. But it's still kind of small, it's roughly about the same size as a Calberry. As you can see, the three of them, the bigger one is the Orino. And the Azul is the smallest of all. Well, the Irvinis are still shy, hiding back there, only coming out when I give them food. So yeah, basically this is the short update of the master fish tank and as you can see the quarantine tank is still empty and this is infecting it. So after maybe about a week or so, I'll transfer the bigger pyra into the quarantine tank. Our channel Aristone is doing good. Super active. Uh, I turn off the lights on the bigger cobra on here or Aranti because it's going under quarantine as well, had some uh, fungal I think or drop fins, yeah, something like that. Yeah, so I was I just gave it some medication, so it's under quarantine as well. And let's go on and check out the other side of my collection. Okay, one last glance at the three pickup passes. The Calberry, the Orino, the Azul, and this cool guy here, the Gooch. Yeah, the Pyra is doing better now, it's not that shy anymore. Alright then, let's go to the next section. Alright guys, I didn't show you guys this part of the crib on the last videos. And now I'm just, because the, most of the fishes I kept here are Chana, so I'm going to show them to you right now. I'm not sure you can see this guy, he's a bit shy. It's a female Chana Andrao. Yeah, he's hiding inside the rocks there you can see from the glass you can see his reflection there yep and down here is another chana auranti this guy is smaller i got him when he was about four inches now he's around i say six seven inches and we have a chana sterwati here this is a karbi anglong sterwati from the river karbi anglong Right, two of them are about the same size, and up here is a small little chana blehari or rainbow snakehead. He's always hungry, and this section is actually a little baby red tail. Okay, I have to grow him up here. I couldn't put him into the three feet because I scared the goonch would swallow him or the payara. So he's in the grow up process here. When I got him, he was about like that big. Yeah, he was sick in a pet shop, so he was kind of skinny and small. So I brought him back, feed him, get him fat. Now he looks kind of short to me compared to other red tails of his size. But I'm not sure. Maybe it's a short body. It's too small to tell the difference. And going on, we're gonna skip this tank first. 
there is another China Andrew. If you can see it's at the back there. Sorry for the algae filled glass. I haven't been uh, scrubbing it for a while. This is a small Andrew down here. It's about four to five inches long. This one, he is really shy as well. I'm not sure why all my Andrews are really shy. But this guy here, he is a smaller Aristoni, same as our prize fish. Okay, red mosaic snakehead. But he is quite active. As you can see, he's actually more blue instead of turquoise color. Maybe when they grow adult, they change to turquoise. Or maybe it's because of the white background. I'm not sure as well. Our Chana Aristoni. Cool looking guy. It's very feisty as well. See, check it out. <laughs> He's really feisty, this guy here. Alright, now for the last tank. Can you spot anything? In this tank contains the fish that I last minute bought in New Life Aquatic in Jalan Pasar. Have you spotted anything? Okay, let's take a look down. If you can see in between those driftwood there, is actually a gulper catfish. Yep, actually I wanted a gulper catfish but I didn't like, you know, not like I want it very much. It's cute and all but my sister loves it and he always uh, pestering me to get a gulper because it's cute. And yeah, so I, I know that gulpers cannot be combed in a tank with other fishes as they can swallow anything double the size. That's why he is temporary in this one feet by one feet cube. Okay, once I get a big tank done, I will move him into the three feet. So yeah, he is just chilling there under the foot. This gulper is quite a chill catfish, you see. Because previously I've seen a few gulpers and they keep like swimming around. But this guy, he just like to chill under the foot. Hopefully he can come out though, but he's not coming out, I think. Yeah, he's a bit shy. Maybe in the future, when he's not shy anymore. I put a home there so he doesn't want to go into the home. In the future, when he's not that shy anymore, he will come out. And maybe we can, you know, see some feeding. Of course, I will train him to take pellets or frozen foods. But temporary for now, I'll just pop in some live fish for him to hunt. Let's check out from the top view. I wonder if you can see it clearly. Yep, there he is down there. In between the driftwood. I'll remove the covers. See all my tanks here, the chinas are jumpers but most of the tanks I have to cover because I have problems with lizards here. So I do not want lizards to be falling into the fish tank. There you go. He's in here. Try and get him to come up. I wonder if he will come up. Yeah, there you go, he's hot. He's cute and fat. He just loves the driftwood, man. Always be sitting in the driftwood. Cute little guy. Alright then, so basically, this is the second side of my collection. Yep. So, yeah, mostly uh, Chana snake heads. Just two catfishes, one here and one here. Uh, don't worry, this guy is going to grow big very fast and I have a, a bigger tank, fiberglass tank all ready for him. He's so chill man, he just chill there every day, sitting down there, not doing anything. It's not like other red tails, you know, like they would keep swimming around and all. He's just sitting down there and chill. Alright guys, so that's all for the update. Alright guys, so that's basically the update on all the fishes in the crib right now. There's actually a big fiber tank outside with the marine predators that I have like groupers and all inside there but I'll put them in to the next video coming soon. So don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification icon for the next video. And also a short uh, announcement guys, if any one of you in Malaysia in particular have big predators or uh, monster fish uh, like red tails or tiger shavenos, alligator gars, yeah, if you guys have those big predators, you know, and you guys are looking for a place to rehome them, do drop it down into the comment. Let me know your location. And me and my team, we will come over for the rescue. 
and we give them a better home in the future. So that's all from me today. Always remember the quarantine and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!